The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. There's a new study out by uh, in the psychomet- from the Psychometric Center at the University of Cambridge, which claims to be able to predict with varying degrees of success whether someone has a high or low IQ, whether someone leans liberal or conservative, and a whole bunch of other stuff based on their Facebook likes. The study says that um, they had 60,000 volunteers in the U.S. They looked at photos, friends status updates, pages of products, sports, musicians, books, restaurants, popular websites, all of those likes. And um, interestingly enough, they say they can also predict the sexual orientation of someone who hasn't even declared one on their Facebook profile via looking at what likes they have. This is really pretty fascinating. Um, Let's look at the high or low IQ ones. High IQ, apparently the following likes are correlated with high IQ individuals on Facebook. The Godfather, uh, Mozart, Thunderstorms, The Colbert Report, Morgan Freeman's Voice, The Daily Show, Lord of the Rings, To Kill a Mockingbird, Science, and Curly Fries. Hmm. Curly Fries. Low IQ associated likes on Facebook. Jason Aldean, Tyler Perry, Sephora, Sheik, Brett Michaels, Clark Griswold, BB, I love being a mom, Harley Davidson, and Lady Antebellum. Interesting stuff. Uh, Republican Democrats. So Republicans, this one just kind of makes sense. It's kind of obvious. Republicans are much more likely to like George W. Bush, John McCain, conservative Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, positively Republican Sarah Palin, Ronald Reagan, and Glenn Beck. And Democrats more likely to like Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, health care reform, the White House Democrats, Barbara Boxer, Anthony Weiner being liberal, left action, Barack Obama 2012, and Ted Kennedy. It's interesting there, I think, that there's really no philosophies. In other words, th- whether you're Democrat or Republican is really just connected to you liking certain individuals, but no true thinkers. I mean, some would say Ted Kennedy was definitely a visionary when it came to politics, but no, uh, and healthcare reform is kind of the one issue mentioned there, but very superficial and kind of obvious on that front. Yeah, nothing, nothing shocking there. Okay, and then for men, this is for men who have not indicated on their profile whether their sexual preference is towards men or women. Gay males are more likely to like The No Hate Campaign, Kathy Griffin, Kurt Hummel from Glee, not familiar with that, The Human Rights Campaign, Mac Cosmetics, I don't know what that is, Adam Lambert, Ellen DeGeneres, and Wicked the Musical, and straight males are more likely to like The X Games, Nike Basketball, Bungie, WWE, Sports Nation. Is Sports Nation a show or a channel? I don't know. It's a show. It's a show. Wu-Tang Clan, Foot Locker, Shaq, Bruce Lee, and being confused after waking up from naps. Again, is this surprising? I guess none of this is really surprising. The one I would want more information on is the high-low IQ one. Right. That seems to be the only one where— In other words, how are you assessing that? But, I mean, uh, to to be honest, I mean, if I were to go through the list, if I were to look at, um, let's see, someone who likes the Colbert Report and um, someone who likes Lady Antebellum, uh, if you asked me which one of those two people I thought was smarter, just based on that, right. what would I say? Obviously, the Colbert Report. Why, though? Why? Yeah. It's just it's just more thought-provoking. Interesting. Yeah. Is that, well, okay. I think that there's a lot there. Not everybody would agree, but. I think most people, uh, well, obviously, people who pick Lady Antebellum over the Colbert Report would not agree. Right. I think our listeners would agree. There you go. Yeah. Well, Lewis making a number of different statements today. Mm-hmm. They will all be evaluated individually. And I'm sure we will get some feedback. And people will send feedback. Absolutely.